Every morning, I wake up and think. Today will be the day, nobody mistakes. My younger brother, for the twin brother I don't even have. Today will be the day, nobody mistakes. My best friend, for my babysitter. But then I realize, that will not, never happen. But there is more. This is my mom. She is 4'11 and a half. And this is my dad. He is six foot two. So, it was a 50-50 chance that I would either be extremely tall or extremely short. I guess it's not very hard to figure out which one I got. <laughs> I used to be stressed out about my height in grade five. And now I'm almost in grade eight, and I still get stressed sometimes because people can be mean. But then I remember, it's not about your height, your weight, the color of your skin, or whether you have physical abilities or disabilities. It's about you embracing who you are and doing what you love. I used to be a competitive swimmer, but then last year I quit because everyone I would compete against would be getting taller and taller, and my wingspan just wasn't there. But now I'm in competitive diving, and last summer I won a bronze medal at the BC Summer Provincial Games. Once I realized I just needed to be me, everything started to fall into place. I wasn't focusing on how to be cool or how to be popular. I was just me. I was figuring out what I like to do, what I'm good at, and who are my good friends and who are not. This is my best friend. She is extremely tall, five foot nine to be exact, and I'm extremely small. Though there are many differences between us, we are still best friends and we don't care what people think about our differences. There are plenty of girls in my school who I can overhear talking about how ugly their face is, how short they are, or how fluffy their hair is. Every time I hear that, I want to scream out of the stall, don't be so hard on yourself. You are perfect no matter what anyone says. And if you're thinking, how come I can't be perfect? All celebrities are perfect. Actually, you're wrong. Everyone has their own flaws, oddities, and uniqueness, even celebrities. And every day, don't be applying thousands and thousands of pounds of makeup because you are pretty, with or without makeup. An actress named Tina Lifford said, when you know yourself, you are empowered. When you accept yourself, you are invincible. What would happen if we actually listened to these words? instead of the ones that hurt? What if we were kinder to people? What if we said hi to the person in the hall we didn't even know? Imagine how much happier you would feel and how much happier everyone else would feel. So, it doesn't matter what you look like as long as you embrace who you are. That's right, give yourself a hug, a big hug. Embrace you. You are important. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks, even if it's the most important person in the world. Just be you. Be the kindest person you can be. Be what you want to be. Never give up. Be the bunny in a world of sheep. Thank you.